What's up everybody? This is Craig from Nightbolt Games and today I'm doing a viewer request video. Uh, Mr. PJHS, right? Yeah, Mr. Mr. Jippus, that's what I'm going to call you, Mr. Jippus, <laughs> um, has requested for me to do a video of all my strategy guides. Now, I didn't know if this was a serious, like, wow. <laughs> this is like my fifth time doing this and I'm not going to stop. Um, I didn't know if this was a serious request or not because I've already gotten a message in my inbox this week telling me how unrefutably gay I am. <laughs> uh, but you did subscribe to my channel and you did like one of my videos, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that this was a serious request. And I'll go through them, and I'll go through my strategy guides, and I'll, I'll say a little something about why I have them. But i just like to let you know that um, most of these I do not use. Most of these strategy guides I haven't even broke the binding of. Um... A lot of them are just collector's editions, and uh, sometimes I just buy them because I feel like, I don't know, I had the $20, <laughs> I had the $20 when I went to go pick it up, you know, uh, or just see it, you know, I'm at, I'm at like Barnes & Noble with my wife or something, and I, I see something there, and I just grab it because I can, uh, so who knows, who knows, who knows, I don't even know what I'm talking about, <laughs> like Mass Effect 2 here, Mass Effect 2, uh, I bought it because it looked pretty, <laughs> Uh, I didn't even break the binding on this thing. Uh, there's no point in even using it because the game's so linear and straightforward. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's a good game. Um, but you definitely don't need a strategy guide for it. Uh, unless you want to know where to mine for minerals and stuff, uh, in which you could just do right online. So, this game, was, uh, this game was pretty good. I thought maybe there would be a little bit more in the way of armor and collectibles and stuff. Like the first game had, but there wasn't, so there's actually no need for this except for purely for uh, um, collecting purposes. <sighs> Alan Wake. Did I? I didn't break the binding in this one either. Alan Wake. Um, Alan Wake was, was a decent game. Uh, I guess the only collectibles in it really were if, thermoses. <laughs> so there's really no need for this. Uh, it's a story-based game. And um, I do own a lot of strategy guides for story-based games, but there's no point in um, reading through unless you've already beaten the game. Uh, a lot of these games, I don't even like to look at the strategy guide unless I've actually beaten it first, uh, except for the Bethesda ones. I generally go right in and take the map out because that's what I want. But also with that, I still don't look at anything from the main quest until I uh, beat the game. Resident Evil. Resident Evil, you guys are like, why would you even need that for Resident Evil? I did break the binding in this one. And if you want to see why, go look at my gamer score. Or go look at my standings for Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil 5. It's pretty sick. I put so much time in that game. Um, I believe beat it on every difficulty. Uh, I'm just missing two achievements. Three achievements. I think, I think they're online based, so... Yeah, I definitely played the crap out of Resident Evil 5. You know what's the best? I didn't even really like it. <laughs> I was just excited about the whole aspect of Resident Evil 5. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, Guns of the Patriots. I bought this just because it was Metal Gear, and, uh, you know, that was the whole reason I bought a PS3 in the beginning. And, uh, look at, we look exactly like... Hold on. I just don't have a pedophile stash, but anyways... I just got it for collection purposes. I also did, you know, I didn't even open this one. Anything that I wanted in Metal Gear... I've already got. All right, I got fighting game ones. Now um, I did. I've looked in this one. This one, uh, Metal, Metal Gear, <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom three, Marvel vs. Capcom three strategy guide, along with the other fighting game strategy guides I have, is purely for references on like you know what kind of com combos you can do. Uh, you know what's a good start to combos. What are you gonna maximize your damage out of? Um, I actually would have never bought one of these before, uh, not for a Capcom game. But Dan actually talked me into it. <laughs> um, I did used to get all the strategy guides for Mortal Kombat games back in the day, but um, the Marvel one didn't help me so much because I didn't really get into it. Soul Calibur one did. Soul Calibur one actually, the, this is the Soul Calibur four strategy guide. This strategy guide got me to change my stubborn ways on what characters I use. So I definitely used the crap out of the strategy guide, man. I actually made my big jump from uh, Keylick to Tira through this strategy guide, looking through the characters and seeing which ones appeal to me more. Um, Street Fighter, the Street Fighter one, uh, I used the crap out of this. It's actually yellowed, which is, no, that's just the color of it. 
you know, I bought this when Street Fighter came out. Obviously, Super Street Fighter 1 is thicker. I didn't really get into it as much because I'm not a huge Ca uh, Capcom fighting game fan. But uh, let me get the other fighting game one out. Might as well. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Uh, the binding is, like, so broken on it, shit looks like it's going to fall apart. I used the crap out of this. And now you're like, if, if you know about the strategy guide drama, which was a lot of falsified information was printed in, the, in these... Um, including the cards. This is where the cards came from. Uh, the cards are actually still up for anybody who wants them because the person who asked for them first never gave me their address. So as far as I'm concerned, whoosh, it's new video. Those are still back up. The game's already taken, though, from one of my previous videos. But yeah, this is it got false information in it. And I don't know if they went ahead and they reprinted it, but I kept it anyways. Plus, Mortal Kombat, in my mind, you don't need a strategy guide for because it's always better... Like in this style of free form combat, just to learn your own, learn your own ways. Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption is an open world game. Um, there's a lot to do in it. I just didn't open this until I actually beat the single player game, the story mode. This one has an epic story, and you don't want to ruin it by reading ahead. Uh, it has one of the best endings ever. Well, let's do this one after. Uh, Condemned 2 Bloodshot. I don't remember why I bought this. I think I was just really, really excited because um, I, I had Condemned 1 when they come on Xbox, and it was a launch title and all, and Condemned 2 came out, and I kept telling Dan, like, you gotta play it. Well, yeah, look how serious I am about it, and then I went and bought this, the uh, strategy guide. I mean, it was a good game, but I hyped it up for myself way too much. I was disappointed. Strategy guide's pointless. It's beats shit. I could probably just throw it in the trash right now. It's not worth anything. Um, Final Fantasy Thirteen never broke the binding on this. I didn't... I'm going to get some hate. I think I might get at least one or two thumbs down for this, but I hate Final Fantasy Thirteen. Uh, so I had no reason to ever open this, because I gave up on that game. Um, and if any of you are wondering, I gave up on the game like two hours after the part where um, you all are about to get arrested and snow comes down with... Uh, Shiva and, you know, makes the big high school thing. He's riding a motorcycle and all that crazy shit. I don't know. <laughs> Just Cause 2. Just Cause 2, uh, I broke the binding on this solely for this. This is a tiny strategy guide. and It doesn't really help you that much. I mean, there are a lot of hidden items in the game. But, once again, you're better off with an internet database, like a, uh, a wiki, you know. But it came with the map. And the map of Just Cause... It's actually one of the biggest maps in the, in gaming history. And if you don't believe me, on my site, if you just search for Just Cause 2, I actually put up the comparison of the maps. I think um, Destructoid did it. Destructoid or, um, or uh, uh, Joystick. They put up map comparisons. Oh, fucking fuck myself. Come on. They put up map comparisons of the game. It ended up being bigger than, you know, it's bigger than Oblivion. It's bigger than... Um, I don't want to say Fallout, but I do. I think it's bigger than Fallout 3, and it's bigger than Daggerfall, which Daggerfall, to me, I think Daggerfall was actually the biggest map before that game came out. So some of these games I actually buy just solely for the map. Some of these uh, strategy guides I mean. Uh, here's one I bought that you don't need. Halo Reach. I didn't break the binding on it. It didn't come sealed, though, sadly. I wish it did, because this would still be sealed. I bought it just because it's the Wicked Thick Collector's Edition. And it's got the cool little cover on it. Um, uh, do you know how much I've actually used this? I didn't know what was going to be on there when I lifted this cover up. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways. What's all this stuff? Arkham City. Um, you can use an online database to find all the extra stuff. Uh, I had the extra 20 bucks when I went and picked up my pre-order. And, uh, I know this, I know this stuff to pick up. I didn't really, I just broke the binding on it, actually. I didn't even open this before. I bought this just because I know that there's a lot of collectible stuff in it, and I wanted to get everything. I was super hyped about the game. But, uh, it just came out too close to Skyrim. Why, why did you do that? I wish, I wish half of these games didn't come out at the beginning. God damn it, just come out at the beginning of the year. <laughs> uh, Borderlands. Everybody knows why you should have Borderlands. I broke the shit out of this binding, too. Borderlands is a game about randomly generated loot. 
So you want to see what all, everything that you can get is there like possible combinations of stuff and what they do. Like they're actually, uh, Borderlands is, is a very helpful one. And I think Borderlands 2 strategy guide will also be very helpful when that game comes out because sometimes they'll just say, I'll, I'll say like a phrase, like uh, one of them said uh, pew, pew, pew. And um, if you go in, you actually realize in the strategy guide that these phrases stand for stats that get added to your weapon or your armor. So it's good to have some kind of a reference tool. I know you can find one online. You can Google it. But it's just so much better to have it out, you know what I mean? Especially if you have the funds you can collect. Uh, Dead Rising 2. I got Dead Rising 2 strategy guide with the game. I got a discount. Uh, it's, I apparently didn't break the binding in this one either, but I just opened it. It's got a map in it that I never took out. That was the reason I, I bought it. I ended up not even caring what was in here. I wanted to play through the story first, and then uh, I just stopped playing because Dead Rising 2 is one of those games where it'd be like, okay, 24 more hours, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh no, 12 more hours, and then 2 more hours, and then it just kept going, and I was like, you know what? I quit. <laughs> um, and I'm right at the end too, which is sad. Same with this game, Castlevania. I started to blow through this game, and something came out. I didn't even break the binding on this either. Ooh, I just buy these for no reason apparently. This was a really good game. This is also another one. Play through the story before. I should just say that with everyone. I just want to play through the story before I use these strategy guides. Dead Space 2. There's another one that, um, this one looks like it's been through hell. And I didn't even open it. Ah. This was, uh, I had already had the game. And I went to go pick up another game, like a month later, and they had one Dead Space 2. It was out of the wrapping, Dead Space 2 strategy guide on the counter at GameStop. And I said, the guy says that for sale. There's no sticker on it. I said, yeah. <laughs> and they said, uh, it, it wasn't used at the time. It, it looked mint. And I was like, I'll buy it, put it in with my order. And I just bought it. And that's what it was. And I, I had already played the game like halfway through and then just never finished it. Um... Silent Hill Homecoming. I was so hyped for this game. So hyped for this game. <laughs> I was so, so hyped for this game. I bought a copy on PS3. I bought a copy on the uh, 360. I bought the fucking strategy guide. Came with the monster poster, which I never took out. <laughs> and this game ended up to being a giant piece of crap. So I really had no use to even open that. Oh, what's this? Dark Souls. This one's pretty. <laughs> the reason that I bought the Dark Souls one is because Dark Souls is fucking hard. And the strategy guide is nice to have, because then you'll know what enemies are going to be like when you get there. The only sad thing about it is enemies are permanently placed in the game. They're not going to change. So when you go, if you play Dark Souls, you know. Once you go through one area and you hit that campfire and you go back, it's the same enemies in the same areas. This tells you exactly where all of them are. It gives you direct routes. It tells you which weapons are the best to use, blah, blah, blah. It kind of ruins the whole point of Dark Souls. So I looked at it a couple times, and then I stopped. You know, my eyes are burning, man. They're not burning, man. They're burning. Okay. These are my Pratt and Joys here. The Bethesda ones. The Bethesda ones you have to have. If you want 100% these games, you need it. Oblivion, you need it. You gotta 100% things, you gotta know where freeform quests are, yada yada. You gotta have them. Fallout 3, Game of the Year edition. I had the original Fallout 3 uh, Collector's Edition one, but I got the Collector's Edition of the Game of the Year edition. It's a mouthful. Um, if you see one, pick it up because they are limited edition, they are numbered. Um, this is. This is the Bible to me. <laughs> In fact, I believe that's what most people call it. I came to Connecticut. Dan told me that they call it a Bible. It was our Bible down when I lived in when I lived in Keene, New Hampshire. Um, not for Fallout, but just for the Bethesda games in general. Um, I don't have the Morrowind one, which is sad. I want it, but Morrowind Prophecies was up to seventy dollars last time I looked. I had one when I was nineteen years old, and I sold it because I needed rent money or some stupid shit like that. But these games are, I mean, these are necessities. It's whatever Bethesda game I'm currently playing is what game strategy guide is sitting on my uh, my coffee table at the time. Fallout New Vegas. I didn't get so much into this one because the game wasn't as good, obviously, as Fallout 3. I mean, I beat 
New Vegas, um, and then there's Skyrim, which is the one that currently resides on my coffee table. Skyrim is huge. However, even with these games, like I say, you need to have them. I always try and do the main quest first. If I want to completely finish the main quest, the main story, before I go in and start ruining things for myself. You know what I mean? So I just use it as a quick reference. It'd be like, oh, you need like the Nern root things. I look for locations of items like for side quests. You know what I mean? Not ones that have bearing on the main reason that I actually bought the game. But yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's all I got for strategy guides. Other than that, I think that you should be games on your own. <laughs> I do think that's my strong belief about strategy guides. Otherwise, I would have a lot more. Is that you should beat the game completely before you even open the strategy guide up, unless it's a game that you use for quick reference, like like Skyrim, um, and it has miniature versions of maps, and that's that's what I actually want to see. Sometimes I want a map of a dungeon and. Um, that's the reason we use them. Otherwise, I mean, I guess you could, like like I said, you could have your laptop on and you could do quick reference that way. Or you could, you know, have an iPad or, or any of that stupid shit. <laughs> that, uh, you know, all that smartphone technology, mobile devices, blah, blah, blah. But nothing can beat a good old-fashioned book. Paper and ink, people. Keep it alive. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the request, Mr. J... What is it? <laughs> JPHS. Oh, yes, Mr. Jippus. Thank you.